The South African diamond sector is in crisis and leaders got together in Johannesburg to seek solutions, not only for the country but for the region. However, competition is fierce, though, and finding a solution and model that works will be challenging. There is a serious competition from other diamond centers, both in terms of funding, both in terms of regulatory access, both in terms, also in terms of funding being available, and in terms of skills. I've used India as an example. India was a niche market, and they uh, benefited small sizes of diamonds. They now have the critical mass. If we first take Botswana, they're also facing some challenges. They had about two years ago three and a half thousand polishers. They're down to around about two thousand now. But let's get back to South Africa. Um, South Africa is a combination, the problems we're facing is a combination of A, the global demand, the global problems. It's a question that we cannot compete with India at this point in time in terms of cost per carat to produce a diamond. And thirdly, we need to get all the red tape that we have in South Africa. The country's diamond mining sector has been the most obvious loser placing additional pressure on an already stretched social security service. There was 100,000 jobs in the mining industry, there's only 10,000 now. Um, in terms of our global competitiveness as a diamond producing country, we used to be tops, but obviously we've got older mines and they're more mature mines. We've now dropped down to fourth, fifth place. Most of the important decisions will be taken behind closed doors, but interested observers were on hand. Antwerp in Belgium represents more than 80% in world trade in rough diamonds and more than 60% of the world trade in polished diamonds. We are interested in how uh, the South African stakeholders in the diamond industry see the future development of the industry and all of the economic and social challenges uh, that are involved in that. There isn't much time left. The balance of power is shifting away from the traditional diamond juggernauts though. In a very short space of time, Dubai is overtaking even the old stalwart countries like Belgium, Antwerp, uh, where the history of diamond cutting and polishing can be found. And yet they managed to do it with not a single ounce of diamonds under the sand. Time is running out for the sector and some quick thinking is needed to kickstart the beneficiation opportunity. One solution is to turn industrial development zones in secure areas like international airports into diamond polishing hubs with incentives and tax breaks for diamond-related businesses. If this doesn't happen, the country and the region may lose and diamonds may forever be a lost opportunity. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV.